I think I've come to the point as a sewist where no matter how many hours I have in the day and in my life, I will never be able to make all the projects and clothes that I want to. I just have to accept that fact. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video that's really fun today. We're just going to be chatting about fabric and my upcoming sewing projects and plans for the new year in 2024. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited that you're here. My name is Madison. I was a high school fashion design teacher for four years. I've been sewing for 20 years at this point, which is honestly crazy. I did the math the other day and I still can't even wrap my mind around that. And I am so passionate about sharing my love and passion for sewing and fashion with the people around me and my community on social media and here on YouTube. My passion is to help inspire your creativity and grow your sewing skills by educating you on all the vast array of things that I used to teach in my classroom to my students. All right, let's dive in to all of the fabric that I have like my fabric stash is literally busting at the seams um and also like my ideas and plans for all of these different fabrics and things that I'm really wanting to make this year in 2024. At the end of 2023 last year I if you've watched my like life update video or followed me on social media you know that after I got married I moved out of Texas to Wisconsin um so lots of big life changes and one of those was leaving my current teaching position which was being a high school fashion design teacher. Um, love that job, but honestly, I'm really thankful for kind of a change in pace in life um, and not going back to full-time teaching. And so at the end of 2023, that really allowed me to kind of get back into sewing. I had been sewing off and on for the whole time I was a teacher, obviously still uploading things on YouTube, but not really having the time to like dedicate to all of these sewing projects that I had ideas and plans for. And so I think 2023 really got me back into sewing and reinvigorated my love for sewing and creating my own clothes. And so with that, I'm excited for what this new year has in store. I literally have so many ideas and plans and sewing projects, so much so that I'm at the point where I have to be like, Madison, you cannot like physically and logistically and logically make every single thing that pops into your head and every single thing that you write on your list of things to be made or every single cute thing and outfit that you see and you know you can reproduce and make yourself you just like physically cannot make all of them so we kind of have to whittle it down and <laughs> figure out like what we actually want to make out of everything. Um, so we're just gonna be kind of chatting through some of my ideas and plans for things to sew this new year, but also sharing some of the fabric that's in my fabric stash because it's literally a little out of hand, but also for any sewist, is your fabric stash like really ever out of hand because it's essentially just like fabric for ideas and projects and then the more fabric you have, you don't have to go out and buy it. Anyways, that's my logic. Um, I'm also an avid thrifter. And so my fabric stashes growth grows because I find new sheets and tablecloths and curtains and blankets and quilts and all those things at the thrift store. I'm pretty sure that literally every time I go to the thrift store, I leave with at least two sheets um, and add those to my collection of already an abundance of sheets. Um, and whatnot. So anyways, uh, let's start chatting about some of my favorite fabric I have in my stash right now. Some of my like ideas that I want to kind of turn this fabric into and then also sharing some of the additional sewing projects along the way that I want to make this year. So make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of exciting things on the horizon for this new year. Um, also drop a comment and introduce yourself. Tell me your name, where you're from, how long you've been sewing, um, what you love to sew, and what you're excited to sew for this new year. All right, so like I said, I love collecting sheets. Um, and obviously most sheets are either like solids, stripes, or like some type of floral print. And I love a good floral print. So um, my first sheet is this pink, like really pale pink with these cute little rosettes. Um, they're really, really tiny and like dainty. You can barely see them and little kind of um, green like leaves um, so this is a full set and then I also have like a pillowcase that came with it I've had this for probably two years and I've been holding on to it originally I wasn't really into kind of this pink color but I've been getting more into pink recently which is weird I've always said I love the color pink it's one of my favorite colors 
but I don't wear pink a lot and so I've been integrating it more into my wardrobe and my outfits and I love it um, and so my idea for this is it's giving like shabby chic aesthetic and that's honestly like what the brand is like simply shabby chic so we got to play into that but my idea for this is to make like a very feminine and girly prairie dress so think like a flowy skirt ruffles ruffle neckline puffy sleeves and that's kind of my idea i also have a solid pink sheet and so i'm thinking of playing in this idea of like pops of pink like solid pink as the ruffles for this so lots of fun girly ideas for this fabric so we'll see if i actually get around to that <laughs> this year all right next up are the remnants from two other sewing projects um that i used sheets for one of them was this adorable yellow and white checkered two-piece set with like these ruffly pants um and this cute like little tie strap top for summertime and then the other one was a yellow dress that i made for my trip to italy have lots of fabric left over from that so i have ideas of what i want to do with that so this is a vintage sheet um, or the remnants left over from the vintage sheet that i turned into a dress for my husband and i's trip to italy back in the fall of september back in the fall of 2023 um and it had all of these really pretty like butterfly motifs on it which i integrated into the sleeves and the hem of the dress um but we have a lot left over and it's a perfect yellow to go with this yellow and white checkered um this was a giant sheet set i think it was a fitted sheet and a flat sheet so this is a flat sheet i used the fitted sheet for the other project so we have a ton of fabric here my idea for this is to make a cute um quilted tie front vest the reason for that is that i already have a cute pair of ruffle bottomed like pants out of this fabric so i want to make a quilted vest out of this fabric to pair with it and make it like a really cute set um dams and matter has a lot of really cute pants and quilted tie front vest sets and i just love the idea of your vest matching your pants and i want to make it reversible so i want to use the yellow on the other side um because then it'll have be like a solid color that i can wear over dresses and with other prints because i have a ton of prints in my closet and then we can also have the fun print as well i think i'm going to be using sydney graham's um quilted vest pattern i bought that from her she's one of my like new favorite indie designers i found her on tiktok i was on her pattern tester team for her very first pattern that she came out with with which was the lane pant and i literally have made like five pairs of the lane pants and i wear them all the time because they are absolutely my favorite so that's another project idea. All right, next up, one of my goals for this year is to make more blouses. Typically when I'm sewing, I'm making a ton of dresses, except for like last fall, I made a ton of pants and I literally wear them all the time. So now that we have pants, I need like cute blouses to go with my pants because I don't have a ton of tops. I've typically been like a jeans and like a sweater wearing or a cute dress kind of style person um but i want to integrate more fun blouses and my favorite blouses right now are kind of the ghani inspired like tie front tops that have the peplum ruffle at the bottom puff sleeves basically like i have back here so I'm making like a billion versions of this in all different colors and prints um because i just think it's so flattering and such a fun top and also so easy to make i could literally make it in like a couple of hours i also need more solid colors in my wardrobe and more white blouses and so i really want to make a tie front top that's white but out of this textured white fabric so this was a shower curtain i thrifted probably three years ago so when i originally got the fabric i wanted to make a cecily bonson inspired dress because there's like this textured um really interesting like gathered skirt dress i actually ended up making that dress as my reception dress for my wedding last year and it turned out so cute um i actually used a nomi pattern that was literally like the perfect style for it and i have a ton left over so i think that this would make a really cute kind of oversized um peplum tie front top and would just be a fun white blouse to incorporate like some texture in my outfit so that's going to be a top that i make i think i might turn this one into a tutorial so stay tuned for that maybe it's coming sometime this spring hopefully all right next up is probably one of my favorite fabrics that i have in my stash right now i got it when um i was living in oklahoma last summer after i got married my husband was there for his job and obviously i had to check out the local thrift store and i came across this fabric 
and I've been holding on to it because it is such a fun and bold and unique fabric, but I cannot figure out what style I wanna turn it into and what I wanna make. So this is the fabric. It is just like too fun. Um, it's very much reminds me of kind of the feed sack floral print, but with all those patterns inside flower motifs, it's a very lightweight cotton. The colors are colors that I really don't even wear, but it is just too fun. And so I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to turn this into. I think it's going to be some type of dress, something that probably has a lot of volume, maybe has like tears. Um, I kind of want it to be something that's like loose and oversized because the print itself is so bold. I think I need a very simplistic dress and the pattern will kind of print will speak for itself. So thrifted this, it was probably like $3 and it's such a fun print. Um, side note, if you're watching this video and you are a sewist and you love to thrift, or even if you don't love to thrift, if you are not thrifting your fabric, what are you doing with your life? you are like spending so much more money on fabric than you need to. Um, so here's my thing, go to the thrift store, go through the bedding and the sheets and the homeware linens department, look at the curtains, look at the sheets, look at the bedspreads, look at the tablecloths. That is your fabric and you were literally gonna save like 75% on this fabric because most of them range anywhere from like $3 to $10 depending on what you're getting. You can't even sometimes buy fabric for that much per yard. Like the average fabric I feel like is seven to eight dollars per yard. You're going to probably need on average three to four yards of fabric. So you're already spending a ton of money on buying fabric. So anyways, my tip for you is to visit the thrift store and find some sheets and use those for your sewing projects. Um, if you have been around my channel for any length of time, you know that literally every single fabric that I'm using for any of my projects is from a thrifted sheet, curtain, or tablecloth. Um, so you can turn it into tons and tons of fun stuff. So anyways, that's my caveat and tip in this video. Um, continuing on, I have this other fun vintage sheet. Vintage sheets are my favorite for thrifting because they come in such fun colors and prints. I'm a huge floral lover. I also have such a soft spot in my heart for vintage throughout like literally all of high school and a majority of college, vintage was like my style aesthetic. Every single day, I was either looking like someone from the 40s, the 50s, or the 60s. Um, and so vintage just means a lot to me. Authentic vintage fashions, vintage inspired fashions, and vintage sheets and their print. So you have this fun blue and white vintage sheet. I have also had this one for probably three years and have not cut into it yet. I don't wear a ton of blue, but I really just love this print so much. I think it would make such a fun summer dress. So again, just like the crazy like purple, green, blue fabric, I have to figure out what style I want to make this into. Maybe like a really like fun flowy maxi dress for the summertime. All right, next up are three of my favorite sheets in my collection right now um, because I am just so obsessed with their prints. I feel like my style has just changed and evolved so much in the last seven months. Um, and I think mainly it comes from the fact that I literally live on a ton of land now on a farm. Um, we are eventually going to get animals. And so I'm going to do, you know, the whole like homestead life. Like that is what I've always wanted in my life. And so I'm so excited for that and for like our future with having animals and a garden and all those things, literally just living out my little house in the prairie dreams. Um, so anyways, I feel like that is inspiring a lot of dresses that I want to make, where I want to kind of have this fun prairie mixed with like feminine, mixed with modern, mixed with like a pop of Regency Pride and Prejudice. That's the vibe in my head. Um, so that is why I love these specific prints of fabric. I know that I'm gonna do some kind of midi maxi dress, maybe some kind of empire waist, really just dainty, feminine, and elegant. So we have this gorgeous sheet. I'm so obsessed with this. It reminds me of like an herb garden, even though it's like flowers. Um, so like maybe a Victorian flower garden. Really, really pretty cream with these gorgeous green and pink and blue flowers. And then the top of the sheet has this print. And so I want to try to integrate this into the dress somehow because it would just be such a fun pop. Um, definitely probably a sheet like from the 90s, but it would make such a gorgeous summer dress. And I just love it. I've really been leaning more towards 
like creams and whites which I usually don't go for but I just am really loving the aesthetic of those in fashion recently the next sheet which is giving me like American Girl vibes um Felicity American Girl doll that's the dream like that's the vibe we want to live up to Felicity in 2024 so we have again a white sheet with mint and light pink stripes and then these little rosettes how pretty is this I love the mix of stripe with floral and so I want to just do something that has a lot of historical inspiration but yet is still like modern and feminine with this um love it all right the next sheet is one that I recently thrifted and I was going to use it for a pattern test um that I was doing but I just had another vision for it and so I decided to hold on to it but it's another cream fabric with all these different little buds of flowers on it and one edge of the fabric has this dainty lace um this is actually a Ralph Lauren bed sheet so we've loved that um, it's going to become a Ralph Lauren prairie dress and yeah I think my inspiration for this is like nightgown but daytime so like something that's a very loose flowy maybe a highish neck some dainty lacy details um, some gathers really just like comfortable and easy to wear literally looks like a nightgown but we're gonna wear it in the day and we're gonna style it like really fun um so that's the idea and inspiration for this sheet all right next up is a sheet that i'm really excited about because it's a project that i've been wanting to make for a really long time i feel like we are totally totally past the point in time where like everyone is diying the ghani dresses and ghani tops well everyone's diying the ghani tops right now um but the tie front ghani dresses i feel like that was very last fall but you know what i never got around to it so we're gonna make it this year and i'm probably gonna turn it into a tutorial and i'm so excited about this sheet because i feel like it literally matches what the ghani dress stripes look like so we got some more pink um so we have this fun pink sheet with some darker pink stripes and some brown and then they're like spaced different widths so we're going to turn this into a tie front ghani dress really excited about this it's just going to be like a simple dress that you can throw on you can layer great for summer you can still wear it in the fall when it's cold because you can throw it over a sweater so i definitely am going to make a tutorial about that dress so stay tuned for that if you want to learn how to make one all right next up is a whole box of vintage sheets um did i need more vintage sheets no no i didn't um but these are from a giveaway on instagram from an amazing lady um her instagram handle is bring sewing back absolutely love her so her name is Catherine. she is on instagram and her whole point of her instagram is to re-inspire people to bring sewing back and to bring the skill back and I love what she does. Um, so she was clearing out her fabric stash and doing a giveaway every day. Um, I probably need to clear out my fabric stash like she was rather than winning her giveaway and getting more sheets. But anyways, won her vintage sheet uh, giveaway and I'm so excited about it. Um, literally like so many fun, so many fun vintage sheets. Goodness gracious. Okay, my favorite one though is this one it is white again i'm like big into like the white light colored fabrics with florals recently with all these different colors of little roses but what really sold me was the fact that one of the edges has ruffles and then it's hemmed with blue thread so again keeping with like a really like fun ruffly prairie meets like pride and prejudice meets scandy fashion that's my inspiration for this i'm not sure what the entire silhouette is going to be but definitely gonna turn this into something and we'll for sure share it there were so many other fun prints in this box one of my favorites was this yellow and pink vintage sheet from like the 60s definitely something flowy and fun for the summertime the other one i really love was this blue and green so cute but i think i'm gonna turn this into some bags um because i also this year want to make some really cute bags and sell them on Etsy I made a ton of really cute bags for all of my family for Christmas created this, all of these cute styles of bags and totes that I had seen on Pinterest and so I want to use some of my fabric that I have and make some cute totes and sell them um so if you would ever be interested in a tote let me know and that's hopefully coming sometime this year there's also this fun kind of black inked edged 
design, which I think would just be a really interesting sheet. All right, then tons of others in here, but those were my favorites um, that I shared. All right, this video would not be complete unless we talk about antique quilts. Um, obviously, we all know if you are on sewing TikTok or a sewist, that uh, thrifting quilts and getting antique quilts and turning them into jackets is a huge thing. I One of my prized possessions is an antique quilt that was turned into a jacket that I bought in Texas at an antique fair. And so I have been wanting to make some of those pieces this year and have been kind of collecting different quilts at thrift stores or sourcing eBay for specific quilts to use for those projects. And this was a quilt that I found last fall on eBay. I've been holding on to it because I've been trying to figure out exactly what I want to turn it into, but it is so gorgeous. This is the quilt. Um, if I were more up on my quilting terminology, I'd be able to tell you what style of quilt this is. I don't think that this is called a pinwheel, but maybe that's what it is. If you are more up on your quilting terminology, please let me know in the comments um, what style of quilt this is. That is another one of my goals this year is to get more into quilting and learn and practice and sew all the different styles of quilts. But it's a very large antique quilt. Um, the back is just white and so we have all of these designs and I just love it. So I'm thinking about turning this into like a longer duster jacket um, or a short jacket. I also thought about turning it into pants but I don't know if I want to do pants or a jacket. So there is a lot here but I'm not sure there's enough to do like both of those. So stay tuned for something out of this will probably turn it into a video whenever I start cutting on this, um, but that's a fun quote that I have. All right, um, that is about it for all of my current favorite fabrics in my fabric stash. Did we even scratch the surface on all the fabrics in my fabric stash? No, we didn't. Um, there is still like an entire bag and like two piles of fabric that I have, but that would literally take such a long video to go through all of those. Um, and I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to turn all the other pieces into. So for now, we chatted about some of my favorites that I have in my collection and my ideas and visions for those. I'm sure you will see them in a video or tutorial at some point, but let's quickly chat about some of the things that I really want to sew this year, patterns I want to try, um, all the things. So I already talked about wanting to make a vest um, from Sydney Graham's pattern. I already have that pattern. I bought it as soon as she released it, so I'm excited to make that vest, I'm sure just like the lane pants, I will probably make a couple different versions of that vest. Another thing that I really want to do, another I feel, just feel like goal I have right now when it comes to sewing is creating pieces that I will, like when I'm stumped on what to wear, will want to grab it and wear it. Whether that's a pair of pants, whether it's a blouse. Specifically, I want to make dresses that can be worn every day. Dresses that are comfortable, dresses that I love, and that I will continuously reach for. And so that is my goal is to make pieces that will actually be worn because I love them enough. Um, and really starting to curate this collection of a closet that is all homemade. So at some point I can kind of get rid of all of these things I've been holding on for years because I have homemade pieces that I really, really love. Um, so more prairie type dresses is what I want to go for. I just really love that aesthetic. I am such an old soul at heart. If I could go back into time and live in like the 1800s, I would do it in a heartbeat because I just really, really love historical fashion. Um, that was one of my favorite units that I taught when I was a teacher is my historical fashion unit. It was literally two weeks talking about historical fashion and I dressed up every day in historical costumes that were like accurate to the time period. It was so much fun. Um, I have two different videos on my channel actually of all of my outfits for that. So you can find those and watch them. The outfits are really fun. So I want to make more dresses that kind of draw upon historical inspiration, whether that is the prints, the styles, or kind of the different shapes of necklines and skirts and sleeves, um, and kind of melding and blending those two together. I also want to have more kind of modern um, styles of dresses. I actually have a whole um, Pinterest board that is literally just called project ideas. So anytime I'm on Pinterest and I'm seeing like fun pants or tops or dresses, I save it to this board so I can come back to it as inspiration and ideas when I'm wanting something um, to wear. So I have so many different styles that are on this board. Um, a lot of it is definitely that Scandi fashion. I just really, really love the Scandi fashion. I think it's because Scandinavian fashion really does, it's very feminine. 
um it's laid back but it's like fun stylish but it also i feel like draws a lot of inspiration from different periods of time in history um and redoes it in a modern way and i just love that so have a lot of fun things um i have ideas for like skirts that have like fun ruffles on them really want to incorporate some fun skirts again i want more like white blouses i just think that would just be so great there are some cute pants that i have on here more of your tie front blouses with peplum ruffles you know the ghani top also want to make a cream or a white skirt um because i think that is just such a great staple in your closet it's something that I can wear with different pieces that I am envisioning making, but I want a skirt that also kind of draws inspiration from historical um, time periods. And I feel like a cream or white skirt made to kind of look like a petticoat or an undergarment from the 1800s where you have tucks and folds of fabric is just so flattering. I just think they're so, so pretty and I love those unique intricate details. So that is definitely up on my list of something to make um we'll probably film a tutorial about that more blouses that have fun ruffle details and collars i am such a big fan of fun fun collars and want to make more of them when this video comes out um i might not have uploaded it yet so if it's not out yet it's coming soon but i'm going to walk you through a tutorial of a store-bought pattern making the large um fun ruffly collar from my christmas pajamas so stay tuned for that it has been requested from a number of different people okay taking a break from sewing i also got into crochet last year and i'm wanting to make more things that are crochet and so there's this really fun it's obviously not sewing but crochet is still crafty and fun project this really fun colorful scarf that i saw on tiktok and she actually has a pattern for it so really want to make that i also want to try crocheting a sweater or like a cardigan that's based off of the everlane sweater so the everlane sweater is like a hundred or two hundred dollars obviously that's way out of my budget but I found a crochet cardigan pattern on Etsy that's literally the same style as the famous Everlane sweater. I'll put a picture right here. Um, I really want to try attempting to make that. So anyways, continuing on, I talked about the tie front Ghani dress of that pink striped fabric. Um, so definitely going to be making this excited for that. We'll probably make it sometime this spring and we'll share a tutorial. Again, tons of tie front blouses. You're probably going to see me making a lot of those and sharing a lot of those. I also want to turn some of those into like fun sets to have like pants or shorts or skirts that go with them because I think that would just be really, really fun. There's just so many fun blouses that I have pinned and then so many fun dresses. Again, when I'm talking about like really comfortable dresses you can throw on um, that are very kind of old fashioned inspired but still like styled in a modern way, this is what I'm talking about. Love that dress. Also more kind of... Um, not really pinafore but kind of smock oversized loose nightgown type dresses nightgown chic is the new thing okay this dress um this is jemima patchwork floral print cotton midi dress um from the outnet i think i guess the brand is jemima maybe i really think that this brand is like an a british brand but I can't remember what it's called. I've seen this on TikTok multiple times. I know I have it pinned on my Instagram and I've seen the brand before, but cannot think of it. But this is a dress I have had on my to-do list and want to make list for the longest time. I just think it's so cool. Again, anything prairie. Um, we love anything quilt. And so this is fun because it incorporates the quilting element of matching up different shapes, then incorporating it into a dress. And so I think this dress is just so fun really want to make it have to figure out how to do it will 100 percent be sharing a tutorial when i make that so let me know if you want to see that kind of tutorial for that quilt inspired dress there's just so many fun things um again we have all these cute bags these were bags that inspired what i made for my family in, in at christmas and then bags that i want to make and sell on etsy this year um just fun projects we have all of our quilted jackets and crochet things so there's so so many fun things that I am just being inspired by on Pinterest. So many fun styles. 
and I feel like I finally am at a place in life where I'm like I don't care what people think <laughs> about my outfit I'm gonna wear what is exciting and makes me happy and that could change from day to day my aesthetic could literally be different from day to day um but I think that's what's awesome about style fashion tends to be like put into a box of like this is what's trendy this is what's fashionable season to season but style is subjective and style is so personal to each person where depending on like how we interpret it how we put pieces together um style is so individualistic to each person and it's a part of who they are and expressing themselves so i feel like that's really my philosophy when it comes to fashion um okay more fun pants um playing pants and pants with ruffles um instead of just wearing jeans all the time i want fun pants that i can incorporate and style in different ways and those are so easy to make um we already talked about the ghani stripe dress this is just a list of projects and ideas that i have i also okay found this brand um it's called roberts wood on instagram she's a fashion designer so i think she like makes these pieces and sells them but she also offers sewing patterns for her pieces. And when I tell you it's like, like just magical, like haute couture, uniqueness. It's just like, I don't even know how to describe the aesthetic of these clothes. It's so one of a kind, so beautiful. And I'm just like so obsessed with it. And the fact that she offers PDF sewing patterns for all of these pieces, it's just mind blowing to me. And so I really would love to try out some of her things because they are just so unique. And one of my favorite um, patterns and styles that she has is called the damsel skirt. So it's this skirt that kind of has all this cinching and gathers around the waist, but then it has like these bows details like sewn into it. And then it's made out of like a taffeta. It's just the most gorgeous thing ever. It also um, accompanies this like very elastic ruched gathered top um, that she has as well. So you can wear them together or wear them separately. And I really want to make that. One of the other things I want to make, and I feel like I've had this pinned on my Pinterest for a while, but then saw another sewist I follow sewed it last year. She self-drafted it, and it reminded me that I really have been wanting to make this. And it's the Tove, T-O-V-E, gathered blouse. I think they also have this in a top. Um, I'll put a picture right here. But it just looks so interesting. I kind of want to make this in a dress instead of a top. So we'll see if we get to that. Definitely want to make more quilted things, quilt jackets. And another goal that I also have this year is to make an actual quilt um, because I think it'd be a great way for me to use all of my fabric scraps that I have. It's been literally eight years or more since I've made a quilt. Um, I made one in high school and I made one right before I went to college, but since then I have not sewn a quilt because um, quilting is pretty intensive and usually I'm wanting to just make clothes, but I also really want to make a quilt and enter it into our county fair. So that would be really cool. Um, so we'll see if I get to that. I go to a quilting group um, two times a month on Tuesdays with this group of church ladies and we sew quilts that we send to other countries. Um, and so that's just been really cool to be around all these older ladies who have years of experience sewing, grew up sewing, and just to kind of quilt with them. Um, it's really, really fun. So it's been inspiring me to get more into quilting. So that's definitely one thing that I want to try more of this year. I feel like I have so many more ideas for projects that I want to make, but I feel like a lot of times it just depends on like the week and like what I'm feeling inspired by, what I've been seeing people wear, what's on social media, what's on my Pinterest, the season, all those things. Um, so many of my sewing projects are continuously changing, but at the core, like I said, this year I really want to focus on things that I will grab and wear every single day, even if they are really unique, one-of-a-kind pieces. Um, making pieces that I really love and that I will wear for years um, is really important to me. I think my goal like long term is to one day have an entirely like homemade and sewn closet of things that I really really love and that are unique to me and that no one else is gonna have and so that's one of the reasons I love to sew is I can make things that I know I can't find in the store, um, save money making something that is based on something that I saw in the store but I don't, cannot afford, or make things that I know like no one else is gonna have and that's super unique um, to me. And so that's just why I love sewing uh, so much. And so I hope that if you are new to sewing or wanting to learn that you're inspired by that and that this is the year that you finally get, sit down and start learning how to sew. Um, even if it's not your clothes right away, 
gradually getting to the point of learning to sew your own clothes and I hope that the educational videos that I am putting out this year on Thursdays for my classroom series and the tutorials and sewing videos that I put out on the weekends is just inspiring you um, and that you continue to grow a passion and a desire and a knowledge for sewing. I probably could talk so much more about ideas and plans and products that I have. Oh, one other thing, I'll mention this and I'm probably going to regret mentioning this because it might not come to fruition, but one other thing that I really think would be fun to do this year is to make some type of crazy, amazing, super duper fancy formal red carpet gown um, that is based on the theme of this year's Met Gala and uh, release that into a YouTube video. So I know what the theme of this year's Met Gala is. I think something beauties. Um, cannot remember it. I'll put it on the screen <laughs> after I Google it. They haven't released, or at least what I've seen so far, haven't released the actual dress code. So regardless of if they release that or not, I guess I'm just have to going to have to go off the theme and what I know about the exhibit, but I think that'd be really fun. I haven't done a really, really fancy dress since like my pink princessy dress. Um, another really, really fancy dress that I did like three years ago and then my strawberry dress. Outside of that, it's been a lot of everyday wear. Well, I had my wedding dress also. But anyways, something out of the norm, something to stretch my creativity. So we'll see if I get to that. Outside of that, I am hoping to put out things that are everyday pieces, tutorials that you can follow and learn to sew things um, and just share like what I'm making to add into my wardrobe. So I wanna hear from you. What are some of the pieces that you are hoping to sew this year? Or maybe you are new to sewing. What is something that you want to grow your sewing skills uh, to the point where you can make it and sew it. Um, so drop a comment below. Let me know what you're hoping to sew this year. Um, let me know some of your favorite fabrics that you have in your fabric stash. If you have thrifted some really great fabrics, tell me. I want to hear all about it um, and chat with you and have a conversation. But thank you all so much for watching today's video. I'm so excited to continue to put out new content and new videos this year to continue inspiring your creativity. Um, and just a big thank you for tuning in to watching these videos. They mean It means so much to me it means so much to me that you tune in to watch these this really is a huge passion of mine and I want to continue to grow this channel um, to be at a place where I can continue to put out more content um, and just turn this into a place where it is a virtual classroom for all of you sewists where we can all gather together and inspire each other and continue to grow our skills so make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated on future videos. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Happy sewing! Bye!